Hi. Um, there, there was a break in the rain, sunshine is out, so I wanted to come outside and share something with you. My name is Lisa and I run the Smart Happy Project. These are my dogs, this is Django and then this is Conker. Yeah, they're being very good, enjoying the sunshine. And today I wanted to show you how to paint the spiral in the pine cone. It's uh, the, the pattern that appears in the pine cones my trusty assistant there thank you so there's always the way that they grow they're sometimes a bit lopsided like that that's because of how they grow on the trees these trees that I'm sitting in aren't, aren't pines but there are pines over there um, but with this way uh, uh, we're going to show you how to paint the spiral in them because once you can see that, that they all sort of connect into a spiral it's it begin we begin to see how they grow like this so I've just got some uh, basic uh, just artists acrylic paint or you can use poster paint but something that's got good coverage like not watercolor paint um, and then I'm gonna paint this one I think and what we're going to do you can see how it bulges on one side I love it like that is uh, what I usually do is I start in the middle I pick one scale and then from that scale there'll be a spiral there'll be a line that moves up and a line that moves down so we're going to start with one we'll start got a bit of a uh, a creamy color here so I'm going to start with this big one here and I'm just going to touch each one so that I can work out where the pattern goes this is actually quite a tricky one move up like that and then it sort of twists around at the top it does take a bit of practice to see it and then it comes down this way. Oh, there's a bit of dog hair there. <laughs> Thank you for that, Django. <laughs> so, I'm just going to paint these in so that you can see uh, the spiral. This is how they grow and how they the scales manage to get the most amount of sunlight and moisture and all those things that they need but they know that they need to pack in in this special formation and once we see the spiral we can begin to understand how it forms it actually forms one at a time it comes out in a sort of star shape like this but the result is this spiral that we like to see and you also see this in um, pine apples and and things like that and also in flowers as well so i'm just going to do those my dogs are being very well behaved, aren't they? Yes. Um, right, can you see that one? So it, oh, dog hair there. it spirals around to the top. Now we're going to do another color in the other direction. So there will always be, it's called the interconnected spiral. There's actually scientific words. Uh, Call this phylotaxis the way that it manifests in this kind of pattern um, but I just like to call it a phylo. so we're going to start then this way I'm going to pick that one and then it, it runs this way the red spiral all the way down to where it starts if I turn it around you can see there and then it moves the other way and it actually shares this scale this is where they're interconnected. So I'm gonna paint that one over in red so you get kind of pinky color. That's where they're kind of interconnected together. Then it goes this way, all the way around to the top. Probably that one. And then you can just go back over. It's not really about neatness. It's about just putting some color on to pick out the pattern. It's just such a lovely thing to do. There. That's what I wanted to share with you today. So you can go on painting as many spirals. Oh, everybody, oh, oh, something's going on. Dogs are on the move. <gasps> What's going on? What is it, Conker? So, mm -hmm. oh, here they go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can paint each spiral a different color. You can go in all different directions, but it's just a really lovely thing to do. And these are nice, big, uh, pine cones. You can do them on conifers, you can do them on everything. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Painting the pattern in the pine cone. So thanks very much guys and I'll see you next time.